Hey everyone, uh, Maddie and, and Candace Montgomery here, and uh, we are so excited to be able to share with you about a massive change that is happening, not only in, in our lives and in the lives of our family, but also in our ministry, the altar as well. Now we have been an evangelistic ministry in one way or another since 2007. And over the last 12 years, we have been able to see uh, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people hear the gospel and many, many thousands of people respond to the gospel by making Jesus the Lord of their life. And many thousands more uh, have rededicated or recommitted their lives to him. You know, for me, one of the greatest tragedies in ministry has been to see someone come into the faith and to know that as soon as they turn around and walk away from that altar call, or as soon as they walk out of those doors, they're gonna walk out into a hostile environment, back into uh, a campus or a workplace or a family that is going to do everything they can to choke the life out of, out of that, that, the faith that God has given them. And, um, and it's, it's been something that we, have, uh, that we have prayed and fasted and wept over through the years. How can we create a space for people to come not only into faith in Christ, but to come into the family of God. But, but now after 12 years of that, um, we have begun to feel the, the winds of change blowing. Mm -hmm. We feel like the Lord is leading us in a different direction. Just about a year ago, he began to, to put in our hearts this message of family and mm -hmm. worship. And, uh, and I started to travel all around the world and to teach this in churches and conferences all around the planet. But, uh, but, but what he's made obvious and evident to us is that, is that he's bringing us now into a season in which we are going to be cultivating family and worship. And so we are so excited to announce to you that later this year in 2019 we are going to be moving our family mm -hmm. and relocating our ministry to johnson city tennessee and in johnson city tennessee we are going to be cultivating family we're going to be planting a new church pioneering a new community and focusing all of our ministry's efforts and attention on discipling worshipers mm -hmm. and developing a culture of worship you know we really believe that the the family business mm -hmm. in the kingdom is worship in 10 million years i'm not still going to be evangelizing but i'll still be worshiping and if we can if we can equip and empower believers to develop a lifestyle of worship we won't have to beg them to evangelize anymore we won't have to beg them to carry jesus into their workplace or or into the uh, into the coffee shop or whatever it is that god brings them anymore if we can develop a generation of worshipers and release them into the earth the earth will finally get to behold the beauty of, of a god who is enthroned upon the praises of his people and, um, and I am more convinced now than I have ever been that God's plan for the advancement of the kingdom is not bigger conferences. It's not Christian television networks that reach into more nations. It's not a better selling uh, book or, or Christian album. God's plan for the advancement of the kingdom is the local church. I believe that now with every fiber of my being. And I believe that that despite the fact that we've been able to preach to so many people over these last 12 years, that we might actually be able to have a greater impact, a more significant impact for the kingdom by, by setting up shop in Johnson City, Tennessee, and pouring our lives into whosoever would, would be joined to us or called to run with us there. This new church, this new community is going to be called The Altar Fellowship. And I couldn't think of a, a better name for this community that we want to build than the altar. The altar is where people come to experience, to encounter, and to commune with the living God. For those of you that are looking for home, for those of you that are looking for family, we are going to be setting our table, opening our doors, our arms, and our hearts to anyone who would be bold enough to join us in Johnson City and to see what God can do with people like us.